Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. The River of God. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, uh, for so you have prepared it. You crown the year with your bounty. Psalms 65, 9 through 11. The river of God. And for a people such as the Israelites living in a desert land. Water was and is extremely important. Therefore, the Bible is filled with allusions to a water that God provides to replenish the earth. At this harvest season of the year, we can praise God for the abundance of the of the crops, knowing that even during the winter ahead, we will have all that we need. And while we may think that we are responsible for the good harvest and that our efforts have brought us this abundance, we know deep within ourselves that this is God's doing that God provides, that God alone is the source of all that we have and all that we are. The psalmist here knew this, and the psalmist likened God's gracious gifts to us as a river. A river flows ceaselessly and and brings with it the life-giving nourishment necessary uh, to all life. But the river of God is more than simply water to make fruitful the harvest. The river of God is a river of love and compassion. The river of God is a river of forgiveness and reconciliation. The river of God is a river of life and hope and promise. The river of God is a river of love flowing toward us and over us and within us. It's this river of God's love and care that crowns year after year, year after year. It is the river of love and forgiveness that that provides for us all we need, not only to sustain our physical bodies, but to nourish our souls through life eternal. This river of love is the ultimate bounty of God. It's God's gift to us by God's grace. For so God has prepared it, so God has enriched it, and so God provides it for us and for all of God's children. The river of God, you visit the earth and water it, you greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, for so you have prepared it. You crown the year with your bounty. Psalm 65, 9 through 11. The River of God. Well, I look forward to sharing with you 
the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Until we meet again, this is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manor Ministries, Fresh Manor Moments. Shalom.